More Heart Than Talent Radio. More Heart Than Talent Radio is brought to you today by my Jeffrey Combs Inner Circle Coaching Program. If you find yourself struggling to find your breakthrough and frustrated with your results, join my Jeffrey Combs Inner Circle Coaching Program. It's a private video coaching call every other week where I'll be teaching the skill of the week followed by coaching. JCIC members one-on-one live for observation. All calls are recorded and posted in the JCIC members area. Members will have access to the private JCIC Facebook group where they can ask questions, interact with me, my Golden Mastermind team, the other JCIC members, and receive any support required in their breakthrough process. When you enroll, you'll receive the new members welcome kit, which includes my new Breakthrough Factor audio program, my Breakthrough Accelerator course, my digital coaching program, and so much more, all for $197. This is no ordinary coaching program. Sign up now to begin your breakthrough process now. Go to goldenmastermind.com forward slash circle to get started today. Good afternoon, everyone. Jeffrey Combs, More Heart Than Talent, Facebook Live on a beautiful Tuesday afternoon, October 16th. Welcome here to the live More Heart Than Talent video. So welcome aboard, or actually not a video, but live. So for 21 years, I hosted a More Heart Than Talent at 1030 Eastern Standard Time. That was a live mindset call. So I'm in the adaptation process of remembering and integrating that this is a Facebook Live every 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time here in beautiful Stockton, California. We have a great topic for today's live, and the topic is releasing anxiety, living in the flow. Anxiety, fear, and doubt is what a lot of the population resides in. I'll be covering this topic. I'm going to cover a few quick announcements, and then we'll be moving into the inspirational portion of today's Facebook Live. On November 10th, I'll be in Spartanburg, South Carolina. November 17th, I'll be in Orange County, California. December 1st, I will be in Saddlebrook, New Jersey. December 15th, Atlanta, Georgia. And I just added to the roster Terrytown, New York. Now, I was originally going to be in Terrytown on November 10th, but last week I had to cancel a Spartanburg trip, and so I've rebooked Spartanburg for November 10th in Terrytown, December 22nd. And then the last speaking engagement of the year will be December 29th in beautiful Los Angeles, California, at the, at the Los Angeles airport at the Hilton. So that will round out the year two. 2018. If you're watching this live and you're looking for one-on-one coaching, mentoring, I've coached over 12,000 clients, 60,000 hours one-on-one, and I do offer free 20-minute coaching sessions. If you'd like to receive one, send me a message in Facebook Messenger and I'll get back to you immediately. And with that, we will move into the inspirational portion of today's Facebook Live. Releasing anxiety, living in the flow. Anxiety is based on a series of events that create emotions. And if you find yourself in an overwhelmed state, I don't understand. I don't understand why I do what I do. If you keep perpetuating the same set of feelings over and over and creating the same outcome, then there's a high probability that you're emotionally addicted to a set of feelings that you keep perpetuating to fulfill a neurochemical craving that you're emotionally addicted to, i.e. the payoff. Emotional addicts do not like to understand the payoff because they will tend to say, well, that's ridiculous, that's crazy, why would I want to do this to myself? Well, it's not that you enjoy it, but there's some benefit even though it doesn't seem like an out, a, a positive benefit, but there's a benefit feature and service that you derive from being able to do the same thing over and over. Now, you can do the same thing in conscious awareness. The duality of anxiety is awareness. Conscious awareness is when you elevate self above any anxieties, and you're now living in a more relaxed place called the flow. That flow is conscious awareness. Awareness means understanding. I know, I understand. It's integration, it's application. I am here, I am now. And as you're no longer the mind-body connection to the events that shape the feelings, 
then you're not you're no longer going to be the emotional being that keeps perpetuating the same set of feelings over and over. Now the key to this process is letting go. Letting go is your ability, my ability, yours, to separate your feelings from the events that shape them. But if you continue to perpetuate the same set of feelings, you will create the same outcome. This is not a how do I state, this is an I am state where I am letting go of the anxiety that keeps me perpetuating the same situation over and over. It's not a yeah, but. It's not a how do I. It's a I am committed. Only through commitment can you change conditioned behavior. Conditioned behavior means the events that shape the feelings create the same outcome over and over. This is not that difficult to be able to understand. If you're in a relatively new business, you're just a new entrepreneur, there's a possibility that you will have some anxieties. There's a high probability that you'll have a lot of anxiety because of it the newness of the situation. Now, if you seek change or committed to change and decide today, then you enhance the law of averages. If you can go the rest of today without being critical by midnight tonight, and you lay your head on the pillow, and you're able to honestly and objectively say, I did not relapse, I did not criticize myself today, then that would be a day of emotional sobriety. So when you, when you find yourself doing the same thing over and over and then you wonder why you do it, that keeps you in a try to make sense of it all. Well, consciousness is not sense. Consciousness is awareness, it's understanding, and it's knowing. And when you know why you do what you do, then you're able to separate your feelings from the events. That's what creates the BK, the breakthrough factor. And as you move into a breakthrough, now what is happening is the neurons that wire and fire in your brain that are based on a set of familiar feelings, no longer the same shelf life. The deeper the breath you take, it gives you eight to 15 seconds of oxygenated body, <gasps> instead of a fight or fight body where you're like this. Unfortunately, most of society lives in a very overwhelmed, anxious state in three different energies called anxiety, fear, and doubt. Now the emotions that drive your anxiety are going to be anger, hate, resentment, guilt, shame, abandonment, rejection, overwhelmed feelings, grief, and apathy. The lowest level of energy of those emotions are, are guilt, followed closely by shame, grief, and apathy. And that energy is a very, very low energetic emotional state called the vibration. Energy is measured at hertz and, and cycles per second. And that's a very low energy calibrates down to 25 cycles a second. And the top of anxiety tops out at about 200. That would be anger. And as you begin to let go of the cause that creates the effect, then you're no longer the mind-body connection to the events that shape the feelings. Now the whiteboard. Now this, is, this, is, this represents a four by six whiteboard that I typically use at my live one day events. But for purpose of illustration, this is what this looks like. So there's anxiety, there's, there's, there's anxiety, there's fear, and there's doubt. So that's what this looks like. Anxiety, fear, and doubt. That's the bottom of the chart. Anxiety is right down here. Fear is right here. Now that energy calibrates out at about 25 cycles per second, all the way up to about 180 to 200 cycles per second. It looks like that. That's the lowest level of energy. Now that represents about 80%. 80% of society lives in this type of energy. Now your objective today, right now, is to be an elevate self in, in a place called esteem, regard for self, where you elevate self to a higher level of consciousness. So you elevate yourself to a higher level of consciousness. Right here, this is called the gap. This place right here is where most people live, in between anxiety, fear, and doubt, and consciousness. And a large percent of really good people, they hang out right at the bottom of consciousness and right at the top of doubt. That's a safe place to be disappointed. Safe place to be disappointed. That's what a lot of society does is they hang out in a safe place to be disappointed. Now the highest level of energy is a place called enlightenment. Now in that, in that state of consciousness, you are able to create on command synchronistic events, meaningful coincidences frequently. Now you can actually train your body and mind to collaborate together 
to be able to create this type of consciousness on command as you begin to easily and effectively let go. This changes who and what. This will change who and what you attract, who shows up, different situations, opportunities, content writing, internet marketing, your conversion factor begins to be enhanced. Little glitch there in the system by Byte Finder, but that's what we have a trusty assistant, Alec Friel, for to assist me with any technical situations that arise. That means adapt and adjust. When you live in the solution, not the problem, then you're no longer the connection to the events that shape the feelings. So letting go is your ability to separate self from events that keep you perpetuating the same set of feelings. And before we get, before we really go into this content, it's imperative that you understand that the separation of self from an event, what does that mean? It means that you're able to understand that I am no longer the events. So what many people do is they have an event that creates meaning. And these meaningful events create a memory. And many people have memories that they hold on to. I recently was coaching a woman who was letting me know that her parents went through a divorce. Well, that divorce was a defining moment for her. And she would in indicated that the impact that divorce had had on her life. Now, the significance that we give events is what is called meaning. And the more meaning we give to situations that are disempowering, and we give them power, now we become the mind-body connection to these events, and then these events will get recreated in other forums, formats, and situations to fulfill a set of feelings that creates the payoff. Ah, the payoff. That's what many people do. They live for the payoff. An addict always wants a little more. Now, what does that actually mean? It means that as an emotional addict, you'll recreate similar events over and over to fulfill a set of feelings. So let's say that you go through the breakup of a relationship and you hold on to that relationship. You hold on to the bitterness. You feel rejected and violated and you continue to say, he or she cheated on me. Well, that means you're holding on to that event and you're giving it power, you're giving it meaning. But when you say, my significant other had an affair, but it wasn't on me, see, not on me. There's a significance there because you're separating your feelings from the events. I was recently divorced. My ex-wife or my ex-partner was having affairs. Now, there's a difference between saying having affairs than having affairs on me. Because me means you own it. When you say affairs, now you can separate yourself from it. The same situation in any situation is the significance we give to, to the events and we give them meaning. Meaning is what creates stories. The stories we hold on to either disempower us or the stories we hold on to that empower us give us a different set of emotions. Joy, love, bliss, reciprocity, prosperity. There's a different meaning than anxiety, which is anger, guilt, shame, rejection, abandonment, resentment, hate, grief, apathy, and overwhelmed feelings. So the cause of your anxiety, now here's some of the points I'm going to cover here as I wrap up the call. The, the, the cause of your anxiety, the effects of anxiety, medicating and self-medicating, releasing and avoidance tendencies, releasing the past, letting go of control, being and staying and living in the flow. So let's just move right down the list here. The cause of your anxiety are going to be events, the events that shape your feelings. I don't know. I don't understand. My whole childhood is a blur. I don't understand why this happens to me. I don't get this. Why does this always happen to me? Well, this is how an addict will talk. An addict will continue to perpetuate the same set of feelings over and over. Now, when you begin to understand why you do what you do, the separation process begins. A series of events shape a set of feelings. The feelings become the moods. The moods become the identity. The identity becomes the anxiety. It's not this difficult to understand. It requires rigorous honesty. I had a great childhood. Really? And you have all these gaps and delays in your communication style? You're checked out? You're overwhelmed? Well, there's going to be events that shape your feelings of why you process, think, hold on and recreate the same situation over and over. The understanding is based on the events. Letting go is being able to separate your feelings about cause and effect and why you do what you do. Once again, this can be covered in a groundbreaking book by the great David Hawkins called Letting Go. I was reading it this morning, the very chapter called Pride. And there's a section in Pride on humility that says the truly humble cannot be humiliated 
because the truly humble do not recognize humiliation. Humble people do not feel rejected or abandoned. And when you have that type of humility, then you won't personalize situations. You won't be so sensitive and defensive. Now, the effects of anxiety, they create addictions. They create all kinds of challenges. Health issues, they create emotional addictions, physical addictions. They create low self-esteem, over-obligating, enabling, doing too much, under-earning, under-achieving, a whole multitude of situations based on anxieties. Medicating and self-medicating. I mean, the, the medical community loves to have you stand in line for the blue pill or the red pill. It's amazing when you see some of the situations you see if you ever go to a pharmacy. Now, pharmacists are great at providing for their customers. The medical industry provides some great benefits and features. But when you take medication to the next level where you're dependent upon a medication, now you become addicted to it. Objectively, we want to, we want to be able to be independent of any type of medication if possible. There are going to be extenuating circumstances where we require the benefits of some of these medications, but there's also situations where we get over-medicated. Then we also over-medicate ourselves in our emotional state. We become emotionally intoxicated to a set of feelings. It's your responsibility to understand why you do what you do and begin to separate your feelings from the events. And as you do that, then you're no longer the mind-body connection to the events that shape your feelings and your energy changes. You live more in the flow, that's prosperity. You're not in resistance, you're in the solution. You're not in the problem, you're able to separate yourself from the problem and live in the solution. And as you are solution oriented, you'll, you'll find yourself in a much better state of energy. And it's that energy that's the hands free zone, that's in the flow, that's the zone when you roll your wrist and you drive the ball out of the park, you circle the bases, you sit on the bench, it's a home run. In any sporting event, you can see athletes who are absolutely in poetry, painters who are absolutely in the flow, chefs who create masterpieces, masters who create masterpieces. I mean, this is the objective of being in the hands-free zone, in the zone. And the way that you be and stay there is by letting go. Well, letting go can be explained. Letting go is not a phenomenon. Letting go is a skill. My ability to separate my feelings from the events that shape them. It's not, yeah, but. Well, that sounds really good, but. That sounds really difficult. The way you communicate with self and the way you communicate with others will determine your outcome, and your outcome will also determine your income. And if you're a career over-obligator, there's a high probability you'll also become a career under-earner. If you have codependent tendencies that become codependent addictions, there's a high probability that you'll be disappointed. You'll also be sensitive and defensive. These are some of the situations that come out of the events that shape the feelings that create anxiety, fear, and doubt. Now, as you are moving into a state of awareness, you're also moving into a state of recovery. When you know, now you have a different obligation. You have a different expectation. When you know, when you understand, then you'll stop trying to make sense of it. The left brain attempts to make sense of situations. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Does that make, does that make sense? Actually, you want to stop making sense and start understanding. Understanding is a different integration than making sense. Even, how does making sense sound? Sounds like making pennies. Make is a word of force anyway. Make sense. S-E-N-S-E, C-E-N-T-S. -E -E the same sound, different meaning, but your brain can't separate the words from the feelings. So the more you understand why you do what you do, then you can separate your feelings from the events. These are major breakthroughs once you grasp this. It's not a get it. It's not something you get. That's like get. I got it. How do I get my team to produce? I've got to get her or get him. I mean, this is a fourth. I got to get it. Don't you get it? Well, actually, it's understand. Understand is a different context than get it. So even though even though they, it, you, you believe that it means the same, it doesn't. Yeah does not mean yes. It's a different sound, first of all. It's a different spelling, and it's not a complete word. So the brain doesn't pick up on this. It doesn't recognize what it is. It does exactly what you direct it to do. That's what clarity is so important. When you are being and staying clear, that's when you have emotional clarity. 
physical clarity. You understand why you do what you do. You're clear. You're committed. You understand. You're, you're ITG. You're in the game. That's it. When you start to live in inner game, that's when you start You're in, inside of it. Success is not difficult. Success is a process. But being and staying successful becomes the objective. It's a one day at a time process. You begin to emotionalize and begin to master. And as you begin to master your emotions, then you're not the mind-body connection to the events. You're in a much better place. You're in a much better place called now. And you're no longer the mind-body connection to the events. Now, when you, as you move and stay in this state, this is a state of awareness. This is a state of consciousness. You begin to elevate self. Your energy uplifts. You walk through a room differently. You become very iconic. People begin to feel you. People know you. People sense you. They pick up on you. See, this is telepathic. And you're also able to understand and read people betterly, better because you read their tells. You read their telegraphs. You understand. To be a closer and not a poser is to be able to understand the skills of closing. Not only understand, but the integration of it, the practical application. When you are in it, and not only are you in it, but you're skilled. When you're skilled at, at certain skills that you can monetize, now you can be compensated the laws that govern money. Now you're moving to a place called numismatic law. You understand the laws, you'll start to create income over and over in a very relaxed body, in a very relaxed state of consciousness. And because you become results oriented, you become task oriented. You're in action, not in activity. There's a big difference between activity and action. One creates dust and one creates a result. Avoidance tendencies are procrastination tendencies. To avoid is the definition of procrastination. What many people do is they avoid failing. They say they're avoiding success or they don't even know what they're saying, but many people avoid failing because they don't want to look bad. And the way they avoid failing is by not engaging in the process. They do everything but the action required to succeed, and they perpetuate the same set of feelings. It's called approach and avoid. They walk up to success but avoid it because they're not sure if they're going to succeed or fail. And what they do want to be is in control of being out of control. And that in control of out of control that you control is a place called doubt. Doubt is a safe place to be disappointed. I highly suggest you let go by separating feelings from events. So you're not the mind-body connection to the events that shape the feelings. Releasing the past, letting go of control, being and staying, living and flow. Releasing the past. What does that actually mean? Well, a series of events creates your feelings. Your feelings creates a mood, and a mood creates an identity. And what you identify with, who you identify with, who you associate with, the way you feel about self will determine whether you're in anxiety, fear, or doubt, or whether you're in conscious awareness. As you begin to live and stay in awareness, as you know, as you understand, as you integrate, in that state of consciousness, you've elevated your energy. You'll attract your reality more frequently, people of like mind. You'll attract your reality, people you can collaborate with more frequently. And in any type of business, a leveraged business, it does not require a lot of people to create a lot of income. And it's your responsibility to understand who and what? Who and what am I seeking to attract? Who is my ideal client? Who's my ideal customer? Who am I looking to attract today? As you begin to release and let go and really be in that flow, and you're not in this uptight state where you're worried all the time, where you're overwhelmed, and you're living like this in scarce, scared is scarcity. When you live in scarcity, you live in lack. And in that type of lack attracts your reality a lot of lack seekers. And when you live in that state of consciousness, it relegates you only to the anxiety, fear, and doubt type of the population that you'll keep attempting to create results with that will keep you disappointed. As you begin to have a better understanding of who and what, who I am and what I seek to attract, you'll begin to change your emotional state, which is your command. And as you begin to change your commands, now you respond. What most people do is they react, and then you ask them a question, they go, uh, um, uh, why does your husband do what he does? Uh, I don't know. I've only been with him 37 years, but I don't know. Well, you do know. If you did know, why does he do what he does? Many people avoid confrontation. Confrontation is really carefrontation. 
you're not confronting the situation, you confront self. The more you're able to confront self in a very diplomatic, loving state where you're not critical of self, now you're elevating your energy, you're elevating your emotions, rising up into a place called consciousness. And when you're consciously aware, you know. In a no state, you do not doubt. So when you're prospecting, communicating with people, you're not worried you'll judge someone. You're not worried you'll make a mistake or get in trouble or any of these other emotions that continue to perpetuate the same set of feelings over and over, creating the same result. You should begin to breathe, take a breath, take water into your system. We are told over and over to drink lots of water, but we're not told over and over, take very deep breaths. Well, as you oxygenate yourself with water and also begin to take very deep breaths, you start to give your brain a rest. You start to give it 18 to 15 seconds in a place called now, a place called the present. And as you begin to live and stay in the present, then you are here and you are now. As you begin to release the past, that means you forgive. Forgiveness is a great gift you can give yourself. You forgive self. You forgive others. doesn't mean you have to love them, but you no longer hate them. You no longer give power to events that have robbed you of your energy or your emotional state. You start to own your own set of feelings. You begin to process called letting go. You're able to separate your feelings from the events. You don't personalize the situation. You're not sensitive and defensive. You're here and you're now, and you begin to love self. You're loving, lovable, and, lo and in love with the process. And in that state of love, you're creating consciousness. And in that consciousness, people feel you. This is who begins to show up. Quality, like-minded success seekers that I can continue to collaborate with to create results with them and me. And when you're able to create that type of connection and that kind of unity, that's what creates a team. Team comes together. A series of people form, form what is called character. Character is what creates the nucleus of the relationships. The relationships of the team come together. It becomes an unharnessed energy called quantum. And it's that quantum is where 2 plus 2 will begin to equal 16. Some greater than whole of parts. It looks like this. Some greater than whole of parts. 2 plus 2 equals 16. That is your objective in the next 90 days. That is a quantum leap. That can virtually happen to you. It happened to me. It's happened to me on several occasions. And if it can happen to me, it can definitely happen to you. I virtually entered the year 1995, $100,000 in credit card debt. I ended that year in that same situation, but I was breaking through. I found a new business opportunity, 1996. I went from 100,000 in credit card debt to multiple six figures in a startup business. Now that could be your story, provided you're willing to PTP, pay the price. And if you're willing to pay the price and understand what the price is, then you'll be able to be in the flow. Unfortunately, most people avoid success because of their anxiety about failing. And as you begin to let go of the stories you tell yourself, then you're not the mind-body connection. And now you're in a place called in the flow. Being and staying and living in the flow, this is the last point as I'm wrapping up today's, as I'm wrapping up today's Facebook Live. But being and staying in the flow is a choice. It's a choice that you have every single day to create. Because you can decide whether it's going to be a prosperous day or a day of poverty. You can decide whether it's going to be a day of anxiety <clears throat> or a day of awareness. You can decide whether it's going to be a day of lying to yourself or a day of rigorous honesty. This is all about you. That's the power of a commitment. That's the power of decision. And as you begin to live in a much more enlightened, consciously aware state, it's not a how do I state, it's an I am state. As you begin to live and be and stay there, you do that by separating your feelings from the events. So you're no longer holding on to emotions of anger, hate, resentment, Guilt, shame, abandonment, rejection, overwhelmed feelings, grief, and apathy. Meaning you own your feelings. You're not giving them out there and holding someone else responsible for your feelings. You own them by forgiveness, gratitude, and being highly productive, and then also creating a lot of relaxed rest and peace for yourself. Jeffrey Combs, president and founder, Golden Mastermind Seminars Incorporated. 
On November 10th, I'll be in Spartanburg, South Carolina with Bridget Bartley. Bridget is an exceptional woman and woman I had the privilege of coaching on several occasions over the last seven years. Brit Bridget is an exceptional LinkedIn coach and also a, a very, very successful network marketer, direct saleswoman owning multiple businesses. I will be with Bridget in Spartanburg, South Carolina. That will be Saturday, November 10th. November 17th, I'll be in Orange County, California with Marissa and Doug Campbell. And then December 1st, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. December 15th, I will be in December 15th, I will be in Atlanta, Georgia with Carlotta Davis. Thank you very much, everyone. You have an outstanding afternoon. Thank you for listening to the More Heart Than Talent Radio. If you enjoyed today's content and would like more insight and education to the breakthrough process, you can get my new Breakthrough Factor audio training for free today. It's seven hours of breakthrough content to assist you to break through in life and business. This training is currently for sale on my website for $497, but I'm giving it to you for free as a bonus to persuade you to try my new coaching program called the Jeffrey Combs Inner Circle. It's my proven system to teach everyday people and entrepreneurs how to break through to success. When you join the Jeffrey Combs Inner Circle, you will participate in two private video coaching calls per month that you and my other members receive access to. On each call, the first half, I'll be teaching the skill of the week and giving you an assignment related to the topic. You will have the opportunity to post your homework in my private JCIC Facebook group. The Facebook group is a place where you can interact with me, my Golden Mastermind team, and other JCIC members. On the second half of the coaching call, I'll be coaching JCIC members one-on-one -on -one live for you to observe. As a member, you can register for your own live one-on-one -on -one coaching session during this call. They're all recorded and posted in the JCIC members area for you to review while you are an active member. You will also receive a new members welcome kit in my new Breakthrough Factor audio program absolutely free for joining. You can sign up today for just $197. This is no ordinary coaching program. Sign up now to begin your breakthrough process now. Go to goldenmastermind.com forward slash circle to get started today.